there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Wahoo Element Rival and a couple of updates that were added to it in the past few weeks. The Wahoo Element Rival launched uh, a couple of months ago at this point, and I did post in full in-depth review about this watch that you can see up here, I'll link it there. In this video, I just wanna focus on a couple of features that were recently added to the watch, so that's what we're gonna do today. If you do find this video helpful, fun, whatever, consider hitting the thumbs and the subscribe down below, I really appreciate it. So the first feature that was added to the Wahoo Element Rival just a few days ago is actually music controls. It is in fact as simple as it sounds. Basically any music that you play on your iPhone, so for instance, I've got my podcast open here quick plug for my podcast link in the description you can see when i hit play how's it going ben you can hear my voice that's Let's, let's mute that. You can see when I hit play on the phone, it actually pops up this new screen on the Wahoo Element Rival watch. This screen displays the app that's playing the music, so you can see it says Spotify there. And below that, it shows the title of the song or podcast playing. And right now I'm playing the Ben Thompson podcast I recorded about a week ago. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see a timeline for the total duration of the song or podcast that you're playing. You can see that there's 59 minutes left there. The top right button is a fast forward, and below that we've got a play and pause. You can see I can click the button and now we're paused. And if you click these two lower buttons simultaneously, it brings up volume control for your phone, which is pretty cool. You can see if I click the up button here, you'll, st um, so you'll start well, to hear my voice. <laughs> and to get out of the volume display, all you've got to do is click this X button in the corner here and you're good to go. This new music control screen is available during activities or just in smartwatch mode. And to access it, all you have to do is scroll through your widgets. You can see I've got my time and all of my other widgets here and then I come back to the screen for playing my music. This is a really handy addition to the Wahoo Element Rival and it brings it up to today's standards, which is pretty good. I think this should have been on the watch when it first launched. If you're out there with your phone in your running vest and you've got your earbuds in, you don't wanna to have to dig your phone out. Now you can control the music right from your watch, which is great. Okay, moving on to the next feature that was added to the Wahoo Element Rival and that is track mode. You can see in my activity menu here, there's a new activity for track running. If I click Click go on track running, it starts my activity. I can click start. I don't have GPS, but I'll start it anyways. And now we're off and running. Track mode uses a combination of GPS plus some smart algorithm in the watch and the software to really make a more accurate representation of your run when you're on a track. Basically, instead of the GPS drifting and you can see your track kind of drifting off while you're running several laps, it'll keep the lines right on top of each other after that first lap. This greatly improves the accuracy and in my testing, it's really good. So to test this out, I brought the Wahoo Element Rival to the local high school. I did a few laps on the track, which I hate doing, but I did it for science. And I gotta say, the results from the elephant Elephant. And I gotta say, the results from the Wahoo Element Rival were pretty darn good. After that first lap, all the additional laps after that were right on top of that first lap. So you get a perfect GPS track of your running activity. So if you're a track runner, the Wahoo Element Rival might be an option now. Now this isn't totally new technology. Brands like Garmin and Kuros have done this already in the past with track mode on their watches, but it is nice to see on the Wahoo Element Rival and it does make it a more compelling option in a really crowded and competitive market right now. Now. Future Dave here for a quick interruption. I'm actually editing the video you're watching right now about the Wahoo Element Rival updates. And wouldn't you know it, I got an email this morning from Wahoo about another update that I didn't include in this original video, so I'm just gonna cut it in now. This actually might be the more exciting Wahoo Element Rival update, and it's the inclusion of planned workout modes on the Wahoo Element Rival and in the app. So if we look at the Wahoo Element Rival app, you can see now on the homepage, uh, about three quarters of the way down, you can see it says pick a planned workout. And when I click that, it brings me into this page that has a bunch of pre-made planned workouts that are designed from Wahoo. You've got things like a 22 minute fart leg, you've got, uh, a five by one kilometer, you've got eight times 400 meter speed, you've got track pyramid, a bunch of pre-made things here. But what's actually more exciting about this is that if you click at the top here, it says sync from web. I can click on that and now you can see that I can pull in my planned workouts from Training Peaks, which is really powerful. The Training Peaks platform allows you to design planned workouts and you can also have a coach design workouts for you, which is really cool. So if I do pick one of these workouts, I'll just pick the 22 minute fartlek and I'll say select workout plan. And now with the plan synced over to my Wahoo Element Rival, you can see that the workout is loaded onto the watch and ready to go. This is really easy to set up and the inclusion of Training Peaks is really nice to see as well. I'm not gonna dive too deep 
keep on this new planned workouts feature because I haven't really tested it out since it was announced this morning. I'll be testing this out fully in the coming days and weeks. And if there's any surprises, I'll be sure to update you in a video. Now let's jump back to past Dave to let him wrap up this video. And that's really all I've got. This is probably one of the shortest videos I've made, but I wanted to talk about it because it is a couple of cool additions to the Wahoo Element Rival. Again, if you want to see the full in-depth review of the Wahoo Element Rival, click the link up in the corner. And if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, do all the things. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Thank you.